And welcome back to another exciting installment of Saturday Night Gaming Presents A Heavenscape Tale, Valos Through the Never. When we last left off, our Storm Riders had been, um, well, they made an encounter with uh, our old friend Arthur Strathmore. Didn't go quite the way they wanted, and I feel like Fulgrim might have lost his butter knife in that exchange. But we'll go ahead and let everybody introduce themselves so that we can get started and get rolling. Uh, before we go, though, don't forget to click like, subscribe, share with your friends, your family, your grandmother, your girlfriend, and your ex-girlfriend. Or boyfriend and ex-boyfriend. You might just be the awesome girl who listens to this podcast. And I appreciate you. Now, uh, starting at my right, let's go ahead and do a round table introduction and um, get this going. Hello, my name is Chuck. I'll be playing uh, Ulthar and or Hammer of Saul. And uh, I, was, I missed the first season, session, so I'm looking forward to getting back in and seeing what I can do. Awesome. All right. I am Einar, and I'll be played by Dan again tonight. And I am busy trying to figure out with my new special eye how chains can be melted to be used as a new weapon. Not just chains, but chains Special made of chains. unearthly metal. True. All right. I'm Ronnie. I am Fulgrim Bloodwit. Very angry man. I have lost the irritated blade, and now I must find a new bashing board or people sticker. I feel like you had a very special relationship with that sword. You did. And that losing it is almost like losing uh, a loved one. It was. He was. The irritated blade was almost like a father figure. Very yeah. angry father. <laughs> Very figure. angry father figure. He oh, yelled yeah. at him, much alike everything in the forest that yelled at him. But usually that was just uh, fear. Nice. All right. Uh, my name's John, and uh, my character is a big. Red bearded Viking named John the Red, who has an affinity for jam. <laughs> That's true, he does. Yeah, pocket jam. Yeah. Pocket jam. And he has a stinky cake. Uh, no, it's not stinky. It was cheese. Yeah. And dead people. Yeah. Well, cheese smells good. Oh, okay. It doesn't stink. If it stinks, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. That's fair enough. We'll let that logic fly. You got some pocket lint? <laughs> you want? <laughs> Got lots of that. Pocket lint. He's jam. like that guy that always finds twenty bucks in his pants. I am that right? guy. Right. I am that guy. Or both. All right. And is our digital compatriot here yet? Not yet. Okay. We're waiting for Ryan Ladner to be able to join us. He, uh, unfortunately, due to some of the conditions in the nation these days, uh, or worldwide, however you choose to look at it, he is zooming in with us in order to keep us all safe from any contagions that he may be carrying due to his first responder dangerous job. Thank in you, other words, though, for doing dude. that for us, Ryan. In other words, he's a sick dude, and we don't want him here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super sick, and not in the cool 1980s way. <laughs> all right. Wow, that took me back. So, now, where we left off, Arthur Strathmore, Saul, and John the Red had just dissipated into a chaos portal. Uh, Thulgrim, Einar, you were left there remaining with also Raphael Watcher. Yes. Um, so from what you're telling me, you're back there trying to look at the chains. Uh, Raphael Watcher is still trying to recover from the battle, and Thulgrim is being Thulgrim. <laughs> So I'll let you go ahead and pick up from there what you're doing. Uh, by the way, how big are the links? 
uh, each link would probably be the size of a cinder block. Okay. About really big. Bigger than average, small. Bigger than a bread box. And we have Ryan Ladner here with us. So go ahead and introduce yourself real quick and your character. Uh, hey, I'm Ryan. I'm playing as Raphael the Watcher. And I've somehow gotten my son uh, put a target babysitting a bunch of Neanderthals. That is a very, very accurate, astute translation. <laughs> so uh, right hey, now... Man. Right now, Fulgrim is she just angry because he's missing his uh, his irritated father figure sword. And apparently Einar is in the back of the cave trying to figure out if the metal chains are bigger than a bread box. All right. And Raphael, I believe you're probably still just recovering from the inner encounter that you had with uh, Strathmore. Hopefully, Fulgrim is carrying me like a backpack. Yeah, I hope so. Sure, why not? Done. Is that turned on? Uh, it should be. It was not. Okay. So, Ryan got here. Ryan introduced himself. He probably got picked up by Danny's mic, and we're going to hope that's uh, how that happened. All right, so. Uh, yeah, like I said, you're in the empty cave. Go ahead. Let me know where you're at right now. What you doing? I am... If you need to do anything that requires rolling. I'm going um, to try and figure out how to remove the chain from the wall. Okay, so you want to break free a couple of the links? Yes. Because the whole chain would probably be about 15 links, each one of them the size of a cinder block. Probably pretty heavy, but you're a big guy. If you just want to drag around a chain. <laughs> this is on a giant wolf. Yeah. I will take it. Well, you have somebody to help you carry stuff. Can you make me a weapon out of this? I can't, but Saul said that it was the same metal as your sword. So if we can find another forger like Rhea was. I'm sure we can with the people that we just left. Perhaps. They, well, for one, there's... If we want to trust them. I mean, it's better than trusting Soul, who was our companion and just left us for that other idiot. At least our new companion stayed with us. Yes, I'm very happy that the uh, winged man stayed with us. He doesn't have an axe, but his wings are sharp. His wings are like axes. He has back axes. He has a... He's an axe himself. Oh, oh. He's new mascot. Axe. If you had picked him up by his feet, which I'm surprised you didn't think of, and swung him around, his sharp wings would have been like axe blades. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I put that in Fulgrim's mind now. That sounds like a good team up. He looks super happy, though. All right, so what you're going to need to roll <laughs> off of is strength. Uh, so using your uh, using your correct dice. Can I also use athletics? Would you athletically be ripping it from the ground? Just powering into it. I gotcha. I would say... Some yeah, result sure. where he does it. Okay. I don't think I did it. That's a 97 out of my... 60. No. You did not do it. You you tried to pull against it, and it slipped free from your hands, and you skidded across the floor on your, on your rear end. And I made Thulgrim laugh. And then I tried, and the same thing happened. And now I'm upset. <laughs> oh, no. You're Nobody madder than you were. Huh? I'm madder than I am. Uh, I do have the exploit Sunder. Can I try to use that with my axe? To try and chop to for you? try and chop one of the links. You may try. So that is a seventy-eight out of eighty, but it is a plus ten difficulty to sunder, so that goes to eighty-eight. So 
you have successfully chipped your axe yeah. on the metal of the chain. Um, Probably broke off the pick side. Yeah, it's not looking so hot. Um, does the Watcher want to help them with this at all? Um, yeah, sure. Okay, so explain to me how you would be trying to break this free. Would you just be using strength, using your wings? Mm, I think I'll use, yeah, I'll use the wings. We'll see if, if that works. Okay, so at his level, he needs, what, 2D8? I mean, it's... The, mod, the D, 2D10s. Yeah, you're yeah. rolling the D percentile. So roll D percentile with 2D10s. Make sure you know which one's the tens place. So one just has a single digit number, one has the zeros. All right, I rolled a three and a two. So 32? No, wait. Either way, it's a 32 or a 23. It's either a 32 or a 23. Uh, one of the D10s, it's a percentile, has to be, uh, has to have, it'll have like 40, 60, and a double zero on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I roll that in a D10. Gotcha. Because we're rolling in a system of 100, not 20, as we previously had been. Okay, so I rolled a 90 and a 4. That's a 94, so you're... All right, so um, we add up the points that you, you, were, you were using with whatever skill and whatever trait you were doing, and if you used an exploit, like wings... Um, Tell me what that totals out to. So if you were using your wings, uh, whatever kind of modifier oh, yeah. get to your roll. Um, so 124? Uh, no, you're, you need to go... You, the dice, whatever you rolled, needs to go under the total of your skill and trait. Yeah, so when you roll the D percentiles, that number is either above or below what your totaled out marker is. So like if I had a 60 in my skill, add that to the 20 of my strength, add that to whatever my exploit is, comes out to 80, but I rolled a 94, I rolled over, and I busted. Uh, all right, let me redo that then. It's a little learning curve we're having right now. Um, yeah, well, I went, I went over uh, 34. Okay, so basic failure. Fulgrim's going to try again. Because he's angry. All right, Fulgrim can try one more time. Since I will not be fasted by stupid little chains. Can I try to sunder it while he's pulling to basically assist? Oh, I think I. His anger got the best of him. Or no, turn that around. That's wrong. His anger aided him. It worked. I got a 13 out of 81. It worked very well. He basically just walked up and one handedly pulled this chain out of the, fl the floor and said, Stupid I will chain! I made a fool of by chains! <laughs> There's you no wanted chain. this? Yes. Well, we've got it. Huzzah! <laughs> All right, so you got the chain free. Good job. All right, and you wanted to take that back to uh, Greater Aloria, Prime City? Yes, yes. Uh, we want to take it back to Greater Aloria, to uh, the people that we spoke to before. Um, your, your descendants? My yes. descendants, yes. His grandson. Sorry, Fulgrim has terrible memory, so he can't like really remember names of people. We'll see how that works out. That'll probably be a good gimmick. Uh, all right, so uh, I assume that Watcher would be uh, leading you back. Mostly. Okay. Now, as y'all are leaving the cave, a strange black portal begins to open again. Oh, no. Is it locked up? Close it. Out of the portal lands a strange red-headed Viking who screams out for Jer. Bloodberry Jam! You pocket portaled yourself back. You didn't like where you went. 
you didn't like not being in control of yourself. Yeah, it also did not smell enough like jam. <laughs> so I delved into a jam pocket. And You're back! This is the jam <laughs> verse, apparently. <laughs> I am strangely unsettled, but happy at the same time. My my son is lost. Oh. I could not retrieve him. I was just going to ask you where Saul went. Uh, I do. <laughs> Why? Because he's my son. What's wrong with you? He, he's already Atreus. You have, you have a very nice beard, and yeah. you're not very smart. No, his name's not Atreus. His name's Saul. He be Atreus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fulgrim. He's already promised him a way to wet. Atreus is a good name, though. It is a good name. Atreus. There's a poor girl back in shore. You betrayed us, Atreus. <laughs> well, I guess she's mine Atreus. now. Atreus. Yeah, so you can make a song so about she's it. She's not left alone. <laughs> Where, where's the bard? Get, get the bard on the horn. He's back in the past. <laughs> get him on the time horn. Tell him about his new name is. Say, hang on the board. Please write us this song about Betrayer the Betrayus. Atreus. Atreus. the Betrayer. The Betrayer. All right. So I'll go ahead and give you all the uh, pleasure of a uh, time forward. You didn't have to walk through the woods all by yourselves again. You got Good. Back. Scary we now. had three people to carry the chain. Yes. Uh, so as you got the chain back, you are back at the Capitol building where you had originally met uh, Artavian, the descendant. And for me, it's been 10 years. <gasps> <laughs> Beard does seem a little bit It's lighter. a little longer. A little white little tips in there. Kind of some stuff going on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. First try the light red. Yes. <laughs> so as you get back and you begin to walk through the doors, Thulgrim is very angry, but then he smells something that almost reminds him of rotting meat. Is it jam? No. I have a it's flavor. He's a very old like... friend and he loves to hug him a lot. Oh, I know. He recognizes his scent of rotting meat anywhere. What? No way. He's here too? Yes. Oh, boy! Stay away from me. <laughs> I run. Minute. Stay away from me. I run to hug him. Because I just... Don't, don't in the large me. waiting room, you see Ulthor waiting, and he sees you as you start yelling at him, and he goes, Don't do it. Don't do it. And just starts to, like, back away. All right, so... I'm rolling the hug. <laughs> you would need to roll your D percentile to avoid that hug if you want to. Oh, it's it happen. 20. <laughs> in the hug. It's a beautiful <sighs> hug. Gerald, hug me. <laughs> That's enough. Let me go. Thank you for letting me hug you. I've, I've had a really bad day. I'm, I'm, really I'm sorry bad. I called you stupid <laughs> <up> earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I so just needed consoling for a moment. There, there. <laughs> <Just> stop. <laughs> I sent him back down. <laughs> All right, so uh, Watcher walks out of the room. Single He's tier. going to uh, basically okay. talk to the boss, talk to Artavian, and let him know what happened, what transpired. Uh, the loss of Saul, the loss of the Air Two Slay. Uh, so basically, he's going out to give the sit rep to the Lord and King of this realm. Um, as y'all are sitting there in this waiting area, you do have a chance to speak with Ulthor, maybe ask him about his mission or explain to him anything about your mission. Ulthor. Yes. What have you been up to since you've been here? Everybody died. <laughs> That's even sadder than what we were up to. All I can say. There's a lot of death. I watched death, my... That sounds... Okay. It was Every... epic, but sad. Okay, the people that died, were they your friends or enemies? Everybody. <laughs> Both. Where I was, I watched, wow. I watched my son die. I watched all these horrible things happen. Sad. It is sad, we but now I have a second chance because it's, 
This is the past. Right? This I remember this place. Wait. What do you mean you remember? Of course you remember this place. We were here earlier today. No, it's been 10 years. 10 long years. My son, is he still here? Everybody died. Uh, you showed up right after you left with him. So you're telling me you time traveled twice? Well, space and time are connected, you see. Anyway, I learned a lot in the last 10 years. <laughs> So if my son just oh, left, then there's still time and space. Wait, all four. He died. He's holding space for him. <laughs> all four. Education. I need it. Wait, is this coat blue now? Everybody died. <laughs> oh, no. He wants to learn how to read. I need to learn how to read and write. Right. Why? He wants, he, he wants you to teach him words, too. Everybody died. Okay, I know how to say everybody died. Oh, okay. Wait, everybody died. Do you want to I know you're having a hard time seeing. Did I die? Oh, you give me the helmet? Yeah. Oh, no. Maybe. Maybe that was part of the time of traveling. I don't remember dying. Plus two to perception. Good point. You can't remember your own death because you'd be dead. Sharp like a sword. It's got some other stats at the bottom. All right. Sheet. Now, uh, Artavian's been apprised by uh, the Watcher, and he has called you back into his, his meeting room. He gave me his helmet of perception. Uh -oh. So that he can understand and see what's happening. That's a shortcut to learning. He didn't see, learn it the last time he wore it. But okay. But he's going to use it to learn. So I guess you can spell numbers and see what is there again. Uh, oh, we'll this see. is better. This is my thinking cap. We'll see what happens. So, with his new thinking cap on, uh, Thulgrim and his fellow Stormriders have been called into Artavian's office, where he sits with the same familiar bottle of blue liqueur sitting in front of him. <laughs> I avoid it this time. Ah, you don't want any more of my special wine. Looks suspicious and then like raw meal and ale. <laughs> it's suspiciously stronger than that. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these Romulans you speak of? Are they the enemy? Fill it up! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so a big glass is poured for Ulthor. Much larger than the shot glass splash that the rest of y'all received. We shall see how he does with it. I walk over to Octavian. Octavian's my father. I am Octavian. You're Artavian. Yes. Good lord. But I can understand you being uh, my ancestor, supposedly, air quotes, that you also know Octavian. Octavian was my father. Ah, okay, so um, your grandpapa needs education. I agree with you. From the stories I have heard about my ancestor and the way that you have portrayed yourself thus far, I feel like maybe some added information had accumulated over time. And space. And you know about time and space. Yes, I know a lot now. Oh my, you seem much older than when I last saw you. I don't think that's a compliment, but thank you. Yes, well, you seem rather <laughs> I'll tired. I'll, 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 Maybe I, I thought you meant maybe more wise, like old as in wise. Ah, uh, yes, you do seem... Uh, like well, I'm like one of those old souls that people... Well, you do seem... I've always you wanted to be... Under your eyes and, that's uh, not the same thing as an old soul. You do need a shower. That's a tired soul. That's, that's the worst. That's the opposite of a compliment. Well, not everybody has a good year. I had a bad 10 years. Well, that's a long time to have bad time. It is. I watched my son die. How was your day? Oh, well, I did not do that. So much better. That was my day for the last 10 years. You watched that happen all over. Yeah, all sure. Over I replay it, it in my head. Silent. I replay so it in my head every day. It's silent. happening right now. Ah, that's <laughs> horrible. Fulgrim's going to stand over here. Have a drink. <laughs> I would love a drink. <laughs> okay, here's some blue drink. <laughs> Actually, I feel bad for you, so I'll break out my special red drink. Ooh, red. Yes. Red. I have given him the red drink. I am 
partaking in the red drink. But no, I want to be like the Fulgrim in the books. I am... I want you to be like the Fulgrim in the books. Well, I'm still young. Oh, that's the thing. It's like... Are you bringing up my age again? My advanced age? <laughs> you are aging. Crazy man. Fast. Shush. So... Shush? What does that mean? It's better than shush. I guess so. Do not show that he's telling you to be quiet. Shush the whoops. I'm not a linguist. I don't know these things. Anyways, I do want to be like him. I'm still young. I just started my journey not even seven months ago. That was a very short journey. And you've ended up all the way here in the future. Yes, in seven months. If so I had to believe your tale of time travel, I will allow the Watcher to be my judge of your time travel antics. He is my eyes. That's why we call him the Watcher. Do you have any devices yeah. that can show you Let that I say, did I indeed think, think you come from a certain time? Uh, Watcher, Dr. Raphael, do we have any kind of devices that might be able to test the validity of their stories? Ooh, not that I'm aware of. But, um, can you invent a chronal analysis machine? We can work on that, yeah. Okay, he will work on it. And until that day, I will take your, your words with a grain of, of sugar. A grain of jam. Well, that's really sweet of you. Yes, I am. Like jam? I am sweet. Not like jam. Your bloodberry jam is disgusting. <gasps> oh my. Oh my god. I can't believe you just said that to me. I storm off. As you storm off, you see someone entering the office, and she has a very familiar, very deep purple jam color. Ah, office. yes. It's As been 10 years. In. It's been 10 years since you've seen Lady Cristala. You haven't I aged scream. a day. You? Have. Don't say it. Um, I, I scream. That's my granddaughter! Stop it! Apparently, I've become very sensitive about my age in the last 10 minutes. Apparently, I've gained a grandfather in the last 10 minutes as well. Uh, Who knows? So we, we, we are the same. We, we are both going through a lot of stuff. <laughs> yes. Don't worry. Losses. Dolgrim is a great grandfather. Oh, yes, great grandfather. Or great great grandfather. I don't know. Twice removed. I'm not sure. I was commenting on how well he's what going to do as a grandfather. I? You look very deranged now. One of your eyes seems to float off to the left. Oh, don't worry about it. It's just looking over there. Oh, well, that's very nice. Uh, I was told not to point my weapons at people I didn't want to hurt. Question. Well, yeah, Raphael told me the, that. Oh, this is just oh, yes. to the DM. Uh, do I see all the runes and stuff like that? Because I have the perception of the helmet. Do I see like all the... You would need to roll to successfully use your perception. Okay, so so you want to roll to like analyze these people's makeup, I guess. Yeah, their composition. Yeah, I just want to see like if I can see like the the ruins. because they have a gem in their forehead. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. All right. So perception is what. You would be using that off of... Uh, perception is the skill, and I think mental is the trait. Correct. Or at least that's what it was for me. Correct. Uh-oh. But go <laughs> ahead. There is a likelihood that you could succeed. Don't worry, you've got a plus two. And advantage. Oh, that's right. I have... So... Plus. Okay. We'll see what happens. No. <laughs> the helmet falls over your eyes, and you don't see anything. You got a headache, though. Um, Sorry about that. I'm going to talk to Artavian and ask him if they have any blacksmiths that would be able to help us. Blacksmiths. We have. My son is here. A I inventor. Him. Maybe I should introduce you to him. Ina, this is Raphael. Raphael, this is Ina. He wants you to invent something out of his, what did you say, a chain? Yes. Is Did you drag it in my office? I mean, we or left it, it in the hall. Oh, it's in the hall. We were fairly certain no one would pick it up and carry it away. Oh, oh yes. Well, I, I, 
Do you not remember me putting this uh, new fancy eyeball in your head? Yes. I okay. would have thought you'd mentioned that you could well, work I with the to, chain I to make sure I didn't he while we were walking him. back if he is a you could actually do something smith. with it. He is the closest thing we have to what you would call a blacksmith. We don't use that word anymore, though. We find it intolerable. Antiquated? It's antiquated. It's intolerable. Can you make me something, please? It's me? You know what? what do you want me to I just run this place. I just... Can you have someone make me something out of this metal? Place? Raphael. I need I a will see if Raphael can. I'll I'll get to it, but my armor is at a zero right now, and I'm going to work on that. You can use some of the chain. He has scheduling that he has to do. But Fulgrim needs a weapon. Use and as you all are discussing this, Ulthar is shown into the office. Uh, well, Ulthar. he's there. He's still drinking on his large cup. Um, so everyone you died. To, you is my understanding. Under you have to be under the your number, right? Yes, yes. you're going for golf scores. <laughs> so to to withstand the the wine or whatever is in the cup mm -hmm. is my number sixty seven or <laughs> sixty six. <laughs> So you just barely were able to stomach some of this wine. <clears throat> Everyone else was having trouble even crawling away from that glass. And they yeah. only had a drink, a uh, sip. So, you're Ulthar is like... 400 years of drinking. <laughs> right. Ulthar, I was... I like uh, it. I was given, given a report by Saul's Hammer. He told me that on your quest to He's the, here? Yeah, so I've already sent him on... To do other things for me. He's a very useful asset. Okay, not everybody died. <laughs> yes, he, he also survived. But he said a lot of people died too. We were we were ambushed by T'Challa Court. That's quite horrible. When I sent you over there to find the Order of the Storm, I did not realize that so many dark forces were still at play. I love I that game. I feel for your loss. They took they took Saul's hammer. I assumed him dead. Well, he's a very feisty little man. He survived many things. That's like why he's made out of so many different kinds of I parts. like him very much. However, the rest of the team was slaughtered. Yes, I, I, he did tell me that not many of them came back, but he did show me what remained of them on his armor. Yeah. <laughs> we will have a memorial service for them later today. Okay. It will be glorious. They will be honored. Now, for you, I need you to accompany the rest of your team because the lack of your guidance seems to have caused them problems. We, we didn't uh, know what to do without you, Althor. I am. Apparently, they brought back a big chain. However, we do have some interesting new information that I was apprised from the Watcher. He told me that you learned of three locations. Yes. Three locations that still held these magical source towers. I even wrote them on my arm. Oh, let me see your arm. He pulls your arm close to him and starts reading it. What is this chicken scratch? You can't read that? It says Cryos Tundra. And ah oh, yes, I know where that is. But that's not how you spell it. What? Who taught you how to write? His helmet. It may not be how you spell it. Uh -huh. It is how we spelt it. Okay. Well, learn learn it's about phonetics. Ah, oh, phonetics. Well, phonics is bad for you, sir. But that's okay. Cryos Tundra. That is definitely a place I can give you coordinates to. And I believe. Strathmore mentioned the Emerald Isle before they left. There are some strange creatures that live upon the Emerald Isle, from what I remember. Leprechauns. I don't know what that word means. They're strange creatures. I hate them. I hate the Emerald Isles. Did, they all talk you, like this. Did you go there in yeah. the last 10 years? No, I, I, it's been 20 years since I've been to the Emerald Isle. Odd. Odd indeed. And also Salamara Bay. I've never been oh, there. The Vernac, Vernac Islands. Yes. Yes. That's where I intended to say the first time. 
That, now, that is I what I wrote down. You to discuss this amongst yourselves, my only mission to you is that these essential elements must be collected. For I have already been told that Strathmore has attained over a good portion of them. He, he uses them to great effect. That is quite scary. They, they were much scarier than my new cybernetic eye. Yes, cybernetics we found uh, were not of great use, especially in the great calamity that befell Prime City, when many of these objects of great power were used to destroy a dark entity. But as you can see, it also destroyed a great big portion of my city, and now I have to rebuild everything. It's good to see that even... With the help of my technical smith. <laughs> it's good to see that even current technology can't stand up to the magic of old. Well, it's very old. What do you say? Are you saying I'm old? Uh, you know, you look... Give me more of that red stuff. I need more. Okay. Here, I... have some more. That's good. Thank you. Now, be careful, because that's very potent blood. Oh, goodness. Well, it's blood. Ah, yes, of course. It's, it's the blood of a dragon. Ah, I love it. It's dragon's blood. We drink it. Only the Dalai uh, can drink it because it keeps us young. So that's what I am then. No. And now I'm young. Thank I you, sir. I don't believe you are, but maybe. I don't know. So this will make me young again. It, it, uh, it will stop you those just, crow's feet from being You just said. <laughs> hey, call and laugh lines. <laughs> Okay, but from my understanding, from what uh, the Watcher told me, Strathmore currently has the Red Shard within the Iratus Blade, as well as the Dark Shard. He has both Iratus Blades. Yes, I, I heard of your loss of your blade as well. Um, Again? Sorry about that first time. It wasn't your fault the first time. I've also been informed that he has the Orange Mountain Shard, which gives him great strength. He has the yellow shard, which gives him control over the storm. He has the green shard within the dagger of Fengar that has many mystical properties. He has the violet shard, which gives him control over the skies and the winds. And, as we stated before, he has the dark shard, which gives him very many chaotic potentials. Question, what does he not have? Is there a time? The three shards that we discussed as written on his arm that oh, you must see? hunt for. What is They're right say? here. I can't read. Oh, I can read it now. You can read? You can read it? Yes. Even he couldn't read it. Yes, I can understand that. I can only read it because I was there when it was written. <laughs> <laughs> the word, this helps me read. Oh, Yes. From my understanding, the indigo, the white, and the blue shard are still unattained. That is what we need you to do. Do not let Strathmore attain all of these shards. We won't. We'll be sure to get another shard. Also, we do have one. I guess it's kind of a good thing I don't have the irritated blade anymore. It's irritating. Well... Thinking about it, I know, I thought, terrifying. The anyway, it's already working. So, the irritated blade, wherever we went, the uh, Stratmere, Strat, Strathmore, that's his name. Yes, the great commander. He knew where we were at all times. Maybe he was following your beat? Well, I mean... When I communed with the blade, he would hear everything that we were talking about, so he knew where we were going, and now he has the locations of those now, too. You were telling him everything? You're well, a traitor! You're as blade. bad as my Are son! Are you Atreus? The new Atreus! The new Atreus. Atreus Ooh. the Betrayer. Atreus 2! You're Atreus. The sequel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. Return of the curse. I'm going to go ahead. And I've had too much of this blood wine. <laughs> you I, need, your blood. I need to go lay down. 
Now, we've returned, and as your Storm Rider crew discusses where they shall go, across the plains of this realm, Strathmore and his young ally sit atop Mount Amok, some place that Sol knows very well. He remembers this place. He feels comfortable here as they have created a bonfire and he watches as Strathmore tinkers with some of these objects, these strange weapons and armors. What are you working on over there, old man? I'm working on saving every realm in existence. Really? The, the way the, the, the old man back in the town spoke of you, it made it seem like you were, uh, uh, the, I think he said the word that I don't think I should repeat. It didn't sound very nice. A lot of people have a lot of words they like to call me that aren't very nice. I think but I always normal. say, when I die, you can bury me face down. So anybody that doesn't like me, they know where to kiss. <laughs> that is very funny. Yes. Uh, this sounds like something a monk would have said. Well, I've been in tune with a monk for a very long time. Oh, have you now? Yes. Thank Ever you. since the great accident. Oh, really? The explosion. Explosion? You see me on a ship. It was a sky station, really. Mm -hmm. They called it Solaris. Mm -hmm. that there was this answer. fiend by the name of Dr. Stein. But I had to confront him for all of the things that he had done to me over my entire life. That didn't go very well, and the ship exploded. Well... Little did I know that sword that's sitting right there was what was powering that ship. And that explosion, it was infused with my soul. That is, it's kind of interesting, looking at it through that perspective, considering the one you stole from my big muscular friend, I'm pretty sure I said, I, I created that plate. So you created the sword that's infused to my soul? Because he was trying to rip my soul out. Uh, the big guy. Yeah, the big funny guy with the really soft beard. Yes, uh, I don't think he, he truly understands the... Uh... Well, I got back to my house. There's a whole bunch of people intruding in the place. What do you expect me to do but shoot? No, no, that I come from a land like... where you're allowed to shoot first and ask questions later. Is that the place called Texas? <laughs> no, I hate Texas. <laughs> Yeah. That's a small that. town over on the other continent, right? I hate it. I think so. Those are giants. They think everything's bigger there. <laughs> they, they completely don't understand. I say it's not about the size of pinky. No, it's not. That's what I told them. I told the man who has weapon that big has problem with pinky. You know, uh, you know what I mean when I say I know what you mean. Strathmore. I'm a small frame wiry guy, but I always get by. Strathmore, don't get Texas confused with Alaska. Oh, yes, the last house was <laughs> But yes, uh, during my journeys, you see, I got stuck in hell for a little while. Oh, that does sound this very place interesting. Called Sheol. Crazy place. Every time you go somewhere, you'd have to fight some big monster and try to survive. They didn't have withered, like, finger beard? No, but there was a guy named Mud. Oh, he sounds dreadful. I mean, with the name he like He was kind of He killed me a few times. Oh, yeah. God, that sounds depressing. Well, well he try to kill him like... back, and his skin would just break off, and then he'd look like himself again. Oh, does still it... dirty though. Did you let him kill you out of pity? Did you feel bad for him? Maybe? Well, he killed me, and then that opened up the dimensional plane to a, a fire realm. A monk told me how to close it when I came back to life. I was dating this girl. We were trying to have some hot dogs. Like sausages? No, no, no. She was the wolf mother, and, you know, fire. We're gonna make hot dogs. Hell oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. But she went to this other place, and there was this other elf pointy-eared chick, and I talked to her too. But 
Uh, well, it sounds you know, like you get the run then. I, I get places. Other realms and stuff. But anyway, point is, I got back here, I found out Stein is still alive. And he went to a whole nother, nother place. So there's multiple realms. Let that soak into your brain pan for a second. I'm still struggling with the idea of coming from the past. Yeah, there's past realms and current realms and future realms and other realms all existing at the same time. Mind blowing. Then this is your goal to save all of them? Yeah, we have to collect all of these source shards because you see, once upon a time, they were one. They were called the Celestial Stone. Mm -hmm. If I reforge the Celestial Stone, well then. I can stop some of the chaos that's occurring across the realms. I don't see what that is bad plan. Again, I don't know what the big deal with the uh, guy in the city was. He made it seem like you were a bad guy. Well, everybody's got what they call perspective. I don't know what that word means. It means that you, uh, you're looking at your own rear end when you should be looking ahead of yourself. But if a lot of people got their head out of the sand, they see what I was seeing. So I've been trying to stop Stein since before I can remember. And he's a wiry little fella. As big as he is, he's quick, like a rabbit. Every time you think you killed him, there's another rabbit. Then you smash that rabbit, and then another rabbit pops out of a hole, and you're like, I'm going to burn it all to the ground. I like burning things. We seem like we were born to be friends. This is going to be awesome. I was born with fire in my blood. I, I woke up one day on mountain, and the next thing I know, fire. On uh, command. A monk, I guess he'd teach me. I need first to... time I met a monk, he told me I was SOL. That's, oh, he, he called you soul too. No, he told me I was stuffing out of luck. And then I was screwed, hanging out with him. That's what that means. I've been thinking this Wait, time. your name's Soul? Yes. Like as in... S-O-L, yes. Oh, wow. You're yeah. not right. I thought he or was calling... Right as you are. I thought that was my name. He kept calling me it. Oh, God. Now, as you're talking to him, I oh, want you to go ahead and take your D percentiles. So 1D10 and a D percentile. Roll them on your perception check. So mm -hmm. use... Um, Perception plus your mental, mental plus perception. Okay, so 29. Got a 9 and a. Is that a 90 or a 60? That's a 90. So 90. So 99? Yeah. You failed. Okay. You don't, you don't notice what's going on. Uh, but for the listeners, as he doesn't realize what's going on, the Irritus blade propped up against one of the rocks at their campsite. A strange black ooze begins to bleed out from the blade, seeping into the ground as it begins to take shape. A humanoid shape. As it truly forms into a self, it grabs hold of the blade. <laughs> that might or may not be the voice that it has as it does so. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, so what we'll have you do, since you didn't perceive it, is wait to roll an issue. I figured it, it took me this long to figure out what my name was SOL, not Soul. <laughs> yes, so as you didn't see it, something is it manages to render you unconscious outside of your sight. You are asleep for some time as when you begin to wake up, you see Strathmore beaten and bloody laying on the ground in front of you. Oh, well, that's not good. Are you okay, old man? Oh, what, what happened? Oh, I don't Where's know. Where's the gauntlet? Where's the sword? My God. I just now woke up. I don't know. It was like that. We've lost it all. I saw his face. It couldn't have been him, but it looked just like Xavier. But I thought he died. He died in the destruction of Prime City. There's no way. We have to get some help. If those stones fall into the wrong hands, which I'm thinking they just did, mm. we're all SOL'd. Maybe I know some people will be willing to help us, Drathmore. 
it may take a little bit of convincing, but you seem very charismatic. Not that really angry big guy, was it? Oh, yes. If you let them know that you're going to punch things, he'll be on board. He likes to punch things. I don't, I don't feel like being punched right now. Oh, and he likes to hug people. Oh, I don't like hugs. Or tears. Hugs. I hate tears. I hate tears. I hate hugs. This I don't think I've ever seen him cry, but... Well, I mean, there was that one time when he first learned how to say the word the. It was a very beautiful moment. What we need to do, because I've located three other places where these source shards exist, we need to get to those first before this dark entity gets there. Well, let's go then. All right. We're off. Back at Prime City, you sit discussing with yourselves where to go. Yes. I'm not. I'm just drinking. You're drinking the blood. Drinking my blood. Yeah. I'm singing my Sitting songs. Every time he burps a little bit. Of my a son betrayed me, way. and I'm old now. I'm grabbing random books and reading, trying to read them. I renamed him just Atreus. Flipping through them really fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're Atreus now. I'm, I'm he's not actually reading them. Over him is reading so quickly. He's he's gotten way smarter. I'm, I'm feeling mellow. Very good in the cold. Raphael, you walk in to see these crazy Vikings just sitting around getting drunk and flipping books in their faces. Ah, you guys I've, ready? I've actually taken some rope and lashed one of the chains into a backpack. Like one of the links of the chain into You're a just backpack. carrying the link around? As like a shield on my back, yeah. All right. That's one way to do things. Doesn't have to be a weapon. If you smash somebody in the face with it, it's a weapon. Yeah. Okay. Blood force trauma. <laughs> All right. So discuss amongst yourselves which place you think is the best place to go. Uh, I think heaven is the best place. We should all go to heaven. We go to the spirit in the sky together. Like after I take a nap. Though. That's where I'm going to go when I die. But until then. We should probably go to the Emerald Isle because that one's starting to smother. No, I hate the Emerald Isle. How many times do I have to tell you? <laughs> it's full of little people. Oh, come on, red and green go together fine. <laughs> no, that's Christmas colors. That's only one no, time of the year. Ireland. Red and green. No, it's Where the redheads come from? Christmas. It's from Ireland, man. Come on. It's Christmas. What are these redheads you speak of? Huh? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> what is this land of fire? Like you haven't been traveling with someone with red head that's appeared since that time. Two people! God, did, did that one make you colorblind? Actually. No, it's the first time I've seen colors, actually. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that's what that color is! I know, we can see yeah. <laughs> I can taste smells of that. Okay, so he's voting to go to the Emerald Isle, and John the Red is voting not to go to the Emerald Isle. I want to see these if redheads we, that he seems fond of. If we don't go to the Emerald Isle, I'm going to have to rewrite it on my arm. Write it on my arm. <laughs> Does your arm not smudge like mine? It's very wrinkly and putrid. I have to. I have to find my son. He's in one of my pockets. I, I thought he was dead. No, he's only. Dead in the future. Oh. Well, everyone's dead in the future. Well, for him, it's like the near future. And it's the end of all of us anyway. See, everybody died. I hope not to live until I die. I hope Let's I just go to I die. Let's just go to the Emerald Isle. Well, can we take a bunch but of that first, red liquid with us? Raphael, have you made me any weapons, please? I need a weapon before we go venturing out to these places. I need more drinks. I'll let you roll okay. your D percentile off your intelligence and see if you're able to forge the metals. I was just working on my armor. <laughs> <laughs> He's just tinkering with his own. He is his own person. I One of the most reliable the heroes we have in Prime City. Oh. It'd be very cool. All right, well, uh, actually, you receive a message on your comm link letting you know that uh, there's also some danger occurring 
at a location, a secret location, just past the wild. Secret? Um, it was a top secret mission just for the Watcher. He can choose to go there whenever he pleases. It's cool at that time. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting out of here as soon as I can. So, I'm going to go. Alright, um, now, the rest of you have made it to the coast. Forgot to bring my bathing suit. Does anyone have an extra bathing suit? As you look into the distance on the horizon, you do see the Emerald Isle. From this distance, it seems beautiful and lush, large green trees, and just above the trees seems to be one singular pyramid. Not three, just one pyramid. Above the line of the trees. Uh, see. Now, mm. it's a short swim. I'm not even wearing that. For those who can swim. And those who have swim trunks. Does anyone have an extra pair? I forgot to bring mine. What are swim trunks? I learned on the uh, what they call the internet. Is you buy them if you want to go to like the coast. But I forgot. I forgot to. I was too busy getting drunk. <laughs> He's been doing stuff on computers since he got here. Yeah. If only we could find yeah. a boat. You look I... around and you see that there is a boat on right the down. other aisle. John, do you still have that boat in your pocket? <gasps> Probably. That's a big likelihood. That it might Let me happened. check. Let me check on this boat. All right. So roll that off of your mental stat. I remember there are swords in the book. I just need a sword. Okay, what am I rolling? I have a backpack. I'm, with a I'm rolling a D. No, well, you're rolling under a my two cloak. D10s, so D percentile dice. But over my arm. No, thank you. The cloak and... Um, D percentile. 80. What were you doing it with? It doesn't matter, does it? I did not make it. <laughs> no, you didn't make it because with what you have right now, you did not make it. That There's time. no boat that I can he, find. He finds cheese. <laughs> I, I have some cheese. cheese. That's a cheese disembodied soul. Remember? Hmm. Oh. Threw the sword through it. It does have some fingers sticking out of it. I've already eaten you half of eat it. it. I've already eaten some of it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> um, but you do see that there's a boat on the other side. Somebody has already arrived at that coastline. Perhaps we could summon the boat back to us. Can I see if I have a floaty? Some arm floaties. <laughs> I mean, you can roll again, but I'm pretty sure you're able to swimming. Uh, safety first. He's ah, okay. <laughs> waddling over I do not. I do not have any floaties. You don't. Okay. It's more shoes. Hmm? Your beard could be a floaty. Then I guess we will find out if I can swim with a chain link on my back. No, we will find out. That will give you a negative on some of your athletics stuff. Yes. Because it's heavy. All right. I'm going to swim. There is a man with wings that could choose to fly there. <clears throat> oh, I thought he was heading out. Oh, did he head out? Yes. Yeah. He might have headed out. He might be with you. I don't know. Look around. You haven't really looked at anything. <laughs> I looked for a boat. <laughs> no, I gave you the boat. I said, if only there was a boat, yes, and you sir. said, there's the boat. It's over there. Somebody else look for it first. I do not swim. Aha! How much of a minus do I have? Or I plus. Have like, so I'm going to try and swim, even though I don't have trunks. Add five to your roll. Oh, okay. Is that a hundred and ten? You need one that's that's a D ten and one that's a percentile. Five. What? This is how I've been rolling. <laughs> that's horrible. Uh, so that's not how you're supposed so to get do a it. regular D ten that just has a number, and then one that has zeros. That's what this is. So one oh. has the zeros. That's a percentile, and then, and then the D ten. He's been rolling a D one thousand. So what's this? Eighty. And what's this? 
Zero. zero. So eighty. So just eighty. So what if this was? <coughs> now, what out of this, look. So you've got pocket pool for fifty-eight. Yes. That plus your mental of nineteen. You add those together, and if that rolls underneath that, you actually succeed. So you could have. Maybe I could have maybe found a boat. You could have. That's a potential thing. Yes. I'm getting senile. Now that we're on the right sheet. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Let me see if I have swim trunks in here. Do you have any thoughts? As you stand on this beachhead and watch them search in their caves. And I found some swim trunks. Tiptoe in the water. I'm putting them on. I'm walking in, Linda. Just going. They have little palm trees. Just walking away from them. Yeah. I try to start swimming and I start coughing and I go, nope. And I. So you use that perceiving helmet really well, I see. Yeah, I was just like, nope. This is deep. The only reason I was able to swim across is because I wasn't wearing the helmet. It would have gotten down in my eyes. Yes. So you got across. I rolled a 48 out of 60. He is on the other shore. As you get to the other shore, you find the boat. I will get in the boat and bring it back to the other side. Ah, he has brought it back so that you can all get across now. Everybody on board the boat. And Othor. You get back to the Emerald Isle. Othor. Yes. I brought a boat. Don't worry, you don't have to swim. Unless you want to. I don't want to swim. Let's go. I get on the boat. Can I try and search for a sword? Of some sort, since Raphael didn't want to make him one. <laughs> if, um, I'll go ahead and tell you there's not just a random sword sitting in the boat. Okay. It's just a boat. I mean, it's like a it's like a little just to get across. Oh, a dinghy boat. Okay, yeah, I didn't like know a big was, pirate ship or something. That's what I was thinking. It was like a pirate ship or something. No, just like a little yeah. itty bitty boat. I was able to pilot it by myself. Yes, he was just with my oars. It's got okay. oars. You yeah. can take an oar. Take the oars. So you can have to ferry them across one at a time. You can search when you get to the other side. I'm gonna search for a sword. Giant okay. stick. Doubles as sword. Search. I did it as a child. Roll your perception. That's not well. You have a helm. You, you have the helm. You see time. everything. Oh my god. Uh, zero zero is zero. Four. Wow. Okay, so as you look Out of 15. around the area, <laughs> what you actually perceive is a strange energy ahead of you. You see the sight beyond as two very similar fire auras walk away in the distance. They must have been what took the boat here in the first place. You also see tracks. Two men apparently walking side by side inland on this island. And you see trees. Now you see a lot. Not a lot of weapons. You do see in a distance a pyramid. I see the pyramid. Soul is here. So is Strathmore. <laughs> you could get your own sword back then. No, because it is one with him. Who saw? His, His name is Atreus. They went that way, they're going towards the pyramid. We must get there first and stop them. Yes, I only see one pyramid. We, we should head towards that one. Then let's go, that's what I'm saying. Yes, I'm agreeing. Okay. All four, you ready? Hi. John. It's time once again to stop death. Are you ready? Yes. Teeth. You ready to bathe in blood? Yes, I have my swim trunks. I found them. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Snatch right. defeat from the jaws of victory with me. Wait. Uh -huh. I start running. <laughs> I assume you were trailing off in the distance. So, as it's you're walking, on you're my staring at the beautiful lush green leaves. Uh, you've been enjoying your time with Arthur. You feel a kindred connection with him. 
And as you're walking, you hear a strange noise. Is this like a T-Rex running at me? <laughs> it seems <laughs> like the ground is shaking under your feet. Do, do you feel that? Stretch when it feels like a tiny Let me look at this glass of water. <laughs> Did somebody get into a zoo and let all the creatures out? What is that? He doesn't know. The only time I felt something like this was... Oh, no. It turned around. <laughs> is it a giant orga? It, it, it's, big, it's my big friend. He might be coming to punch us. Oh. That's the only <clears throat> time I felt the big heavy falls like this. I well, know. as he pat you on the back, good luck in dealing with him. <laughs> I'm going to go up ahead. Reconnoiter the area, make sure. I'm coming with you, and I'm not sitting here. Oh, no, you just oh. go ahead and talk to him. <laughs> let's go, come on, let's go. I'm right. I think that old. I'm already walking off. Great, this. sweet, good. He's, he's there. I'm, I'm walking off. His eyes are all shining. I'm to the pyramid. Oh, no. I'll see you when you get there, Seth Moore. By the way, I rolled a one. You started here at two. Uh, uh, so you two are just running. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> you better run. Sometimes you just gotta look things in the face and run away. <laughs> so, you've gotten to where you can see Stratmore, and you see Saul running off in the distance. Oh god, that killed me. <laughs> and as you're doing that, you also hear the, the soaring of wings, metallic wings overhead. Look out below! As you see, Raphael fly overhead, dropping a sword that he has found for you. Now roll to avoid it. Roll to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> My hand! Must drop! That <laughs> what happened? He does not catch it. He does. Just not the way he wanted to. Okay. It stabs right into your leg. <laughs> ah! Oh, that worked out in my favor! Hey! Thanks! Chip a wah, -wah man! I turn around. I pull it out. Oh, I guess he's not going to be fighting. Mm -hmm. I, I pull it out and I stand up. Do grim. Well, what are you, you look real mad, son. I don't know what's wrong with your face, but you might want to fix it if you're ever going to get a date. You took my sword. It I was bound to me. Took my soul and made it whole. What? Yeah, you heard me. Uh, you might want to listen to him, Tolkien. I don't know who you are anymore. That actually kind of hurts a little bit. But well, I helped him dye his hair so that he would be easier to go onto the radar. It's like, you know him. He's his bright red hair was like just flashing at everybody. He's my son. Hey, look at us. So I was like, nope, that's not going to work. So he I betrayed me. I took root of blood. That's all I know. What? Did Is that he betrayed me? I was mad at him, but then when I saw his beautiful face, I I couldn't be mad anymore. I forgive you, son. You're too soft. Don't I forgive you. Listen to me. Strathmore only wants to help save the world. All and the worlds. Do you hear the wind blowing? It's blowing really hard right now. But anyways, you were Don't saying. Know. Tell him. I hear the wind. Tell him what? Strathmore. I don't know this, man. He only wants to save the world. I don't know him either. You are very old. You're what? almost as old as me. Oh, oh. We are brothers then. You won't listen no, to me. No, I don't, I don't think Embrace I'm Embrace me. Uh, we are kindred old men. I'll bump it. Here's my fist. Embrace my fist. But not uh, with your fist. With your fist. Okay. It's called bumping one's fist. Bumping? Yes, bump. Ah, see there, you did it correctly. Good for you. It is like a handshake, but safer. I'm a quick letter. You are. I'm very pleased with you. <laughs> now listen! The sword was made out of my axe that was given to me from the heavens. Well, it was given to me from my soul. In this big explosion. There's an evil bald man who walks across the world. It was mine first. <laughs> I don't think we know that. I've been back in time. And forward in time. I've also been to hell. Have you ever been to hell? I don't like to talk about it. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> well, you're talking about the nightclub, right? Oh, no, no. I'm talking about Sheol. It's a very scary place with demons <laughs> and monsters. I think that it's best if you not talk about that. That place. sounds fun. Well, maybe someday you'll get to go there. 
<laughs> Maybe soon. Okay. Depends on if that blade was clean or not. Oh, you're water. talking about septic. Oh, no. I'm not going to have some antiseptic in my backpack if you want to put it on that cut you got there. Uh, I don't know what antiseptic is. It it's cleans uh, the cuts and stuff. Again, yeah, the wind is blowing really hard. It makes, <laughs> it makes blood easier to over. be clean. You're clean leaking. Blood. I'm leaking. Yes. Well, it's like Look at your mic. You're leaking. Oh. Dinar, you can hear me, right? Is he deaf now or something? The sword fell from the sky and you're leaking now. I... He says he can fix your leg. That is leaking. What the belt do you Well, you can I, I can't leg. really fix it per se. I'm not like a medical physician, but... Antiseptic sounds like something that might stops stand. your leg from leaking. It might stand a little. I don't care. Just fine. Well, look. Here. Also, if you look at him, he doesn't seem to have his sword... Or your sword. But Strathmore's from the 80s, so his antiseptic wife is spitting on a napkin. I saw, <laughs> I saw both of you from a distance. I assumed the sword was with you because I saw the auras. No, no. The sword stole itself. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that guy you mentioned? The, the, Xavier. Exfoliant? Yeah. Wait. That's no, so. It's, it's it's okay. Old. That's who Artavian mentioned. Hold on. Oh, yeah, he's his uh, older brother. Hold yes. on, hold on. So you're telling me someone else took my your blade? Yes. So apparently, from what I've gathered inside my brain house, is that whenever I thought he had died, he didn't die. He just lived inside the black stone for some reason. But I haven't really figured that out yet because apparently it's made out of chaos magic. So it can kind of take you over here or over there or anywhere really. So it's kind of crazy. But then he came out and whooped on me pretty hard because I told Saul to keep an eye out. And I was out like lights like that. I didn't even know Apparently what he's very easy to knock out. Very easy. Yeah, I didn't wasn't know. Doldrum. Doldrum. Just because I don't get a lot of muscles around my skull like you do. Thulgrim, we know someone who uses chaos. I will acknowledge you for now. Thank you, Thulgrim. I missed you. We too. know someone who uses chaos. Remember? Yes, we do. He helped us travel to that other world that Saul burned. Yeah, um, the captain. Oh, you know a captain? I was a captain once, but then I got Serpent promoted. Fang? Yes, Serpent Fang. I don't read a whole lot of books. I was thinking about the god that we met who helped us fight the other god. Oh, the crazy one that had the ring that tasted like pizza? I wouldn't know what it tasted like. The said it tasted like pizza. We're the only two that did. I hate that guy. Are you eating people? He forced them on me. They dared me, and I never backed down from a challenge. He challenged me. I have a challenge for you. We need a challenge. You see that pyramid right over there? That's where I'm going. Because there's another stone inside there that might help us get all the other what? other stones. Stones, yes. That's yeah. what we were here so for. So if you want to have stones, I already have two. You got to run at that pyramid, but I've heard that it's guarded. <gasps> Some the guards, put they your, stand no chance against me. Put on your steel skin before you start running. <laughs> you got steel skin? It's, it's like armor. That's, um, I change. You tink tink? What? I don't know what tink tink means. Tink 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 tink. Yeah, that's what I do. Tink tink. Yeah. Tink tink was much like a metal mute. Mute. It's my brother. From a different world. It's okay. I've seen across many realms. It's been very crazy being so godlike. Many realms? Yes. Yeah, the better believe this isn't the only realm of existence. There's one. That I saw in the distance where a meteorite did unspeakable things to a planet. <laughs> you don't want to hear this story. It no. kept me up all night. Keep I, I want to hear this story. Move on. I don't want to tell this story. Move on. Very so basically, <laughs> this, this story is the planet that hears meteorites. <laughs> it was bad. Why? It was so well, <laughs> and then it twisted around and forced itself out. It was exploding. It was, it was bad. There's bad. Tell them the story of that. There's also right. hell. She all. There was this really hot elf lady that controlled the place. She said she was Lady Death. She had pointy ears, a lot of black leather. 
I was in love at first sight. Okay. So I bound myself and the sword to her. Ah. Uh, Tell them about that one sense. weird guy. Let's just go look at it. We can tell about. stories. We should probably get the stone. Oh, we, we, we can tell stories while we're walking there. I start running towards the pyramid. I'm at the like pyramid. I'm waiting for you guys. <laughs> All right. So you two, actually, everybody roll initiative, which is just initiative. It's straight roll, and whoever gets the best score. Oh. Twenty. Uh, the percentile dice. Plus the D10, or just the percentile dice? The two. The D10. I got 84. 68. 32. 96. 35. 32. You're the winner. Winner! Winner winner chicken dinner starts out at the top of the circle, and then the circle just starts from you. Okay. Okay. So, as you have approached the pyramid with your fine, keen new eye, in my senses. You have noticed that there is a guard outside the pyramid. He is large. Large with a very shell-like armored back. Big, muscly, beefy green arms. He's a ninja turtle. Is his head armored? It has uh, bone protrusions and a, a snapping beak. Oh, that's not the turtle. That's the one that looked like the turtle's. But he I'm had. I'm talking about John the Red. What's up, these Ninja Turtles? I watched a lot of TV when we were back at the palace. I feel like he too has seen many realms, like me. <laughs> Maybe we are more kindred than I thought. With his yes. TV. Yeah, well, it's, it's a little box it's that awesome. we play movies inside of. It keeps us entertained. It's it's uh, pictures well, did that you move. Watch these movies when when we were at Winthorpe. It's drawings. We're on a mountain. We don't have electronics to plug in on a mountain. I'm, gonna, I'm a wild man. I like to be outside. Okay. They call me the, the wild hunter. They called me the wild hunter. I feel like you're just making that up. Now. I am. I'm just making that <laughs> up. I don't think I'm a wild hunter. I'm trying to get him to like uh, me. Uh, he's really Shut up, son. I'm going he's to. Meant on the road. I'm trying to get uh, him to know, to know me. The fake me. Trying to basically. Jump from the tree that I'm in uh, down onto him. Okay. And try to like, axe him to his head. What's that? that? You're going to ask him some knowledge. Okay. Ask him some questions. All right, so go ahead. So that is a 78. So I land not on him, I think. That's your strength plus your cylinder or axe. Well, no, 80. So, yeah, it's a success. Not a great success, but it is a success. A success. So, yeah, it is a success. So, so you do land the axe on a shell. Yeah. Which you seem to find out is very well armored. Yes. As he then turns and basically moves you in the direction you were going. He uses your inertia against you. He pushes you in the other direction. You don't get hurt, but He uses my big words against me. He doesn't get hurt either. Thulgrim. Oh, my man. Thulgrim, watch out! His show is strong. A large monster just throw high knots to the ground after he tried to hit him with an axe. My axe literally did this. Pitunk. Ting. <laughs> 